I'm on a beautiful lake in Oneida County, Wisconsin today, and I'm just going to go out paddling. There's a couple of loons. They are a mated pair, but they don't have a nest and they don't have chicks this year. So either they lost their eggs early or um, something went wrong. But whatever the case is, you know, be it bald eagle predation or uh, black flies or whatever they were up against, it just didn't allow them to have their young this year. So I'm going to just mingle with them a little bit. I'm going to keep a respectful distance and use a 400 millimeter lens to get some beautiful loon portraits. Uh, it's a very small lake. It's a very quiet lake. It's a paddle only lake. It receives almost no visitor use and it's a little gem. We got summer butter light. It's 7.30 p.m. and I'm going to be on the water by 7.45 and uh, hopefully be around the loons by about 8.15. So we'll see how it goes. Something very beautiful to see is there are fresh wolf tracks and uh, some of the hamrack needles, spruce needles and pine needles have fallen into the track revealing it in the sand. I found the loons and I'm gonna just drift now and see what I can make happen with my camera. So if a loon tremolo calls, that's a sign that you're too close. And so you want to just kind of manage your distance. So you have to really respect not just the uh, guidelines that have been put in place with sound biology, but the loons themselves moved in a couple of times and gotten pretty close um, but I got my closest pictures when they came to me and so if you respect the loons sometimes they will pay due respect by coming by and checking you out moving in just a little bit closer because the moons have gotten in this glassy green water with perfect light on them. I'm going to try to make an image over here and see what happens. So, same, same idea. I stopped here in the bay and they swam to me. Sometimes I think it's because I have the sun at my back for better light and they're looking into the sun. So it, it might be that they just can't quite tell what I am. But in this case, it worked out beautifully and I'm excited to share the pictures. <laughs> While I've been chimping at my pictures, <laughs> the loons had just snuck up on me. So I'm going to try to paddle into the wind and drift again, get into position for one last shot. I just got a neat picture where I started thinking outside the box, and instead of getting shoreline, I just went all water. I'm really excited about it. I was shooting a 100 or 1 1 60th of a second at ISO 800 F56, really challenging myself. Uh, but I had a good lock on the bird and it worked out great. It's not always about how big the lens is. A lot of times it's about how versatile the lens is. And I choose as my prime lens the Canon 400 f5.6 low dispersion glass. It doesn't have image stabilization but it's very lightweight and it allows me to shoot from the kayak. Remember you don't have to always get close to make great images of wildlife. 
It's fun to capture the personalities, but a huge part of personality really is about where they live and how they're interacting with their environment. You don't have to disturb the animals to get those kinds of images. Think outside the box, respect the animals, and try to make images that lend themselves to a better sense of place.